Next speaker is Eric Michael Kapp, followed by Barbara Sharp. Uh, good evening. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Brown for his very uh, informative report. Uh, I wanted to come down this evening and speak primarily on item number four, our uh, local economic stimulus program. And uh, there are several items included in the staff report as, uh, I guess, a starting point for discussion uh, on that particular item. And what I'm hoping is we can add uh, one more um, item for discussion, and that is a reduction and or waiver to our film permit fees. Uh, I was here in December asking you for a reduction or waiver for uh, film permit fees for small production. We're talking about a sole operator or a small crew, one to three people. And I appreciate Councilwoman Ramos asking that that item be uh, discussed as part of the budget discussions in May. But uh, seeing that we're going to be discussing this now, given the urgency of the economic crisis, I thought I'd come, but come down and give it one more shot. Um, currently, if I want to make a small video for my website or for a local business, I have to pay a permit fee of $350 if I'm using uh, external lights or audio gear, the same as Disney, Warner Brothers, uh, NBC, etc. And I don't think that's fair. So I actually brought a few props with me, if you'll indulge me. Uh, here's a 100 watt light bulb, which I can turn on and, and film. This here is a low pro light, which is used by a lot of uh, independent video producers. This is a 120 watt light, 120 watts. Um, if I want to use this, I have to pay $350. Another quick example. Um, we can use microphones that are attached to a camera without a permit fee, but if I want to use something like this, which is a wireless lav mic, which is attached to your lapel, attached to your waist, and this actually goes on the camera. There is no cord that anyone can trip over. Again, that's considered external audio equipment that would require a $350 fee. Uh, there's been a few articles in the leader on this subject, and I actually uh, polled all the council candidates on a number of questions, including whether they were willing to revisit this and, and look at reducing and uh, or eliminating that fee. And uh, the majority of them were willing to do that. And uh, for the public's benefit, if you would like to uh, see their responses to that question, and actually at another 14, you can see that online at my blog, which is iloveburbank.wordpress.com. That's I-L-U-V, burbank.wordpress.com. So um, I'm just hoping that we could have some discussion about that, and that's one way that we can definitely stimulate the local economy. Uh, during the uh, discussions on film permits, there was some uh, discussion on home occupation uh, and revisiting that ordinance as well in terms of just making it a little bit more flexible and uh, maybe some clarity. And again, that item for the benefit of the public is coming back uh, for some discussion as part of a one-step, two-step process, I believe it's March 3rd, and I just wanted to let the public know that if you uh, operate a home-based business or are thinking about doing that, here's your opportunity to weigh in on that issue. Um, what I'm hoping we can accomplish there is, is make some minor adjustments or tweaks, whatever you want to call them, that will just provide a little bit more flexibility in terms of face-to-face -face client contact. I'm not looking for an AUP process like we had with the music lessons where I think you can have eight or ten people a day. Something that is low impact that we can all live with, something that is not going to ruin our residential neighborhoods, uh, a low number for you to decide whether that's two trips or visits a day, ten per week, something along those lines that I think we can do quickly without having to form a major committee. Uh, also, very briefly, on the agenda for March 3rd, I noticed that there are um, some appeals for uh, three local businesses who are appealing the suspension of their tobacco retail licenses. They are Studio Star Mart at 3020 West Olive, Savan Mini Mart at 1516 North San Fernando, and Mega Alliance at 2616 Glen Oaks. Uh, these businesses were caught selling cigarettes to minors. 
and um, they're appealing the actual suspension of their licenses. I hope that we have a zero tolerance policy to the sale of cigarettes to minors and I hope you uphold the TRL. Thank you. Thank you.